I want to talk about the right to drive. You know, some people say you have a right to drive. Other people say driving is a privilege. Well, I've been listening to the radio all night long. And it doesn't really seem like a right or a privilege to me. It seems like... It seems like everybody has their history, their name, their identity. Everything about them pretty much is fastened on the outside of their vehicle in the form of a license plate. And these police spend all night long running people's plates, running their VIN numbers, pulling them over, running their um, ID number, their license number. See how this, see how it's really hard for me to see because that lights in my eyes? That's because there's a person sitting on the curb. See, uh, see? Let's see if I can show you. There you have a person sitting on the curb with a spotlight in their face while they run the name. Now, this might seem unrelated to the right to drive or the privilege to drive. But actually, I believe that's how this all started. You know, once they started charging us fees for our, our driver's license. You know, then the registration, then the, then the insurance became mandatory, right? They claim it's for safety. But now that's expanded to where People can no longer ride a bicycle down the street in the middle of the night. You can no longer walk down the sidewalk in the middle of the night because now the police think they need to run your identification and at all costs, even if you're a passenger in a motor vehicle. When that vehicle gets pulled over, they want to run your identification. They want to check you for warrants. And what would the warrants be from? for a, a silly ass ticket from driving a motor vehicle. Right to drive or privilege to drive has turned out to not be a right or a privilege at all. It's eroded this free country to the point where you can no longer walk down the street. They just go down the street a quarter mile and they pick another person and they start over running their names, running their license plates, running their VIN numbers, filling out FI cards on them, demanding their social security numbers, all their uh, personal information. It is not a free country anymore. This is going on all night long in every city in Southern California. The radio is nonstop. And I believe this I believe this started from your so-called your so-called right to drive or your so-called privilege to drive. Did you hear what they just said? The rolling fire for a pregnant female with abrasions on her arm. That's because the police just tackled a pregnant lady. Your children in school, in their public school, have a relationship with a police officer who spends a good part of the day brainwashing them, telling them how Tom Seaver is an awful person. I've been contacted by people from this high school who told me they love my videos, but they only found out about them because of the school resource officer who's constantly talking badly about me. The health and safety code is most likely uh, for being under the influence of meth, methamphetamine. The whole reason these under the influence laws came about is because safety reasons, right? They don't want people driving under the influence. 
but it no longer matters if you're driving a car or not. Now, if you're just walking down the street, police will question you, shine lights in your eyes, make you follow their finger. See how she's picking up things off the ground? That's because I gave her at least 10 minutes to do what she was doing before I got here, and she scattered the person's belongings from their pockets all over the ground. I think this person's going to jail. And one of the ones, you know, that typically bother me the most, somebody on a bicycle, okay, they, they're not going to hurt anybody. They're not driving a 5,000 pound vehicle that's going to kill somebody, but just in case you didn't know, methamphetamines, you know how some drugs like alcohol, they um, impair your driving? Methamphetamines enhance your driving. So, but the thing is, this person's on a bicycle. I know many of you will think, oh no, that's not possible. Methamphetamines couldn't possibly enhance anything, because that's what tweakers do. Yeah, well, why was the United States government giving methamphetamines to pilots, you know, in, in some of our wars? Not because it impairs their ability to fly a, a jet plane, right? But my point is, this right to drive, this privilege to drive, is taken away. You don't even have a right to walk anymore. You don't have a right to ride a bicycle. And you're definitely not free. Okay, so, so nobody's claiming that this arrestee is not fit to be in public. He or she can go back in the public right away. They just need to pay money. They have to pay the bill amount. Not because they're a flight risk, but just because the court and the city wants, they want money. They want your cash. Just like um, many dangerous drivers on the road, you know, there's many drivers out on the streets that have had multiple DUIs, right? So long as, so long as they pay the cash, hey, there's, that's, hi, how are you? Uh, so long as you pay the fines and the fees, it doesn't matter how many tickets, how dangerous, even if you've killed people, no problem. You can go back out on the road and keep driving. But if you have one unpaid bicycle ticket, you're not allowed to drive. In fact, you might even be arrested. They're riding a bicycle, so, you know, there's, there's no argument that they weren't being safe. So, chances are this person does, they don't have the money to pay. So what's gonna happen is, they just go to jail, and the city bills you for it. Because it's gonna cost $280,000 a year to give this person a tiny little cage. Okay, so if they can't afford to pay whatever fines and fees, then you pay for it. Your neighbors pay for it, your employer pays for it, so, they actually get more money if this person can't take care of the fines and they go to jail instead. The city makes more money that way because then they bill the taxpayers far more than this fine was ever worth. I'm out in front of Hawthorne Police Station right now. They have this sign here. Do not text and drive. Do not text and drive. The reality is, they actually want you to text and drive because they're going to pull you over and they're going to bill you for it. You know, if, if you text and drive, sorry, that's going to cost you hundreds of dollars. Pay up, sucker. The police officers themselves are texting, driving, speeding, running red lights with their lights off killing people and that's totally acceptable because they got to pay vacation for that but once again another silly rule that's made for motorists half police are so stupid they think it applies to people on bicycles too pretty soon they're going to say um, you know no texting and walking which 
is probably not a bad idea because I've noticed a lot of people aren't actually capable of doing both at once.